Hey Twisters LA Balloon Guy, today we're going to be doing our very first balloon hat. We're going to be doing the powerful Viking helmet. So stay tuned, grab your balloon, stretch out those fingers, we're going to start twisting now. For the Viking helmet, we're going to need two balloons. So grab your two favorite colors. What's nice is, little quick twister tip, is if you are doing a, a party for a school function that has school colors, and you make the Viking helmet out of the school colors, it's going to look really awesome. So go ahead and grab your two favorite colors. We're going to inflate both balloons just about all the way. Once you've got your balloons blown up just about all the way, you're going to have to figure out which one you want to be the base of the hat and which one you want to be the horns of the hat. I've decided that for my Viking helmet, I'm going to use blue as the base of the hat. Go ahead and twist off a one inch bubble. Wrap the balloon around your head so that you've got, geez, I've got a big head, so that you've got a nice loop. I usually, after I measure the head, I usually give another small inch to inch and a half of real estate on this loop and then twist it off. The reason I do that is I find that for some reason, it gets a little tighter after you twist it. As you can see, it, even though I measured it just a second ago, it still feels a little tight and you want to make sure that the person you're twisting for actually wears the balloon. One thing you should be striving for when you measure your victims is you should be able to fit about three to four fingers in between the back, the front of the balloon and their head. Now that we've remeasured and it actually fits comfortably, we're going to complete the, the helmet portion of this hat. So go ahead and roll off a one inch bubble at the very end of the balloon. We're going to go to the opposite end of our first one inch bubble, so right at the other end, and we're going to just roll it around. Just like that. It should still fit, and this really, if you were really pressed for time, this could be a hat on its own. But we're going to take it up a notch because we're good balloon sculptors. Take your second balloon, bring the ends together, and go ahead and find the very center, the middle of the balloon, and twist that in half. You're going to take it and place it through our helmet, right at that top loop that goes over the head, and you're going to roll it through and twist it around so that it locks in place. Now we're going to do the same thing twice on either side. We're going to bring the, the, uh, the second balloon down and we're going to roll it through the side of the hat. So go ahead and twist off your balloon right where you want it to be and roll it through the side, just like that. Now go ahead and do the other side the exact same way. Give a little bit of shape to our horns so that it actually curls upward. And you just made, I might have to step back for this one, this one's real big. And you just made your Viking helmet. Give yourself bonus points if you paired it off with one of the swords from our previous video. Okay, Twisters, that's our video today. I hope you guys like the Viking helmet. If you guys want to see more hats, go ahead and let me know down in the comments below. If you want more balloon sculptures, you can comment on that as well. Also, don't forget, while you're down there, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Help the channel, it means I don't have to come and raid your house. I'm a Viking now. I'm allowed. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the video next week. Don't forget, I make videos every single week for you guys to learn how to be great balloon sculptors. Have a good one, guys.